Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you two methods through which you could downgrade your Pixel phone from Android 14 to Android 13. First off, I'll show you how to get this job done using the official Android Flash tool and next up, I'll show you how this to be done using the Fastboot Flashing script. Do keep in mind that both this method will wipe off all the data from your phone and it also requires an unlock bootloader. You cannot do a downgrade on a lock bootloader Moreover, you, you, you cannot do a downgrade using the ADB side load. You will have to use the fast boot method to get this job done. And that is why we have to unlock the bootloader as well. So with that said, let's get started. Please take a backup of all the data on your phone because it will wipe off all the data. Once you have done so, your first course of action is to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, go to settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, go to system, then go to developer option. And from here, Enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. You might get an RC key prompt as well. So in that case, tap on allow. And with this debugging is enabled. Let's verify the same. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that, that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are now good to go ahead. So next up, you will now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do know that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, you could refer to my guide and get the job done. In short, you just have to boot your phone to fast boot mode and then use the fastboot flashing unlock command. After that, you will get a prompt on your phone. Use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, the bootloader will be unlocked. Once that happens, make sure to re enable USB debugging and then let's move ahead. So now we will start with the downgrade process. So first off, let me show you how to do the downgrade using the Android flash tool. And after that, I'll show you how to do the same using the fastboot script. So for Android flash tool, first of all, you'll have to choose your phone from here. So as of now, I'll be using the Pixel 6a. Do note that I have listed all the phones over here, but it's quite obvious that it's only applicable across those phones which have an Android 13 OS and is currently on Android 14. For example, the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro came with the Android 14. So obviously it's not applicable on those phones. Likewise, the Pixel 4 and 5 series will also be not applicable because they haven't yet received the Android 14 build and they will not receive that. So that's along the obvious line. So with that said, as of now, I'm using a Pixel 6a and currently let me show you, I'm running the latest Android 14 build. Just a minute, just to verify the same, I'll show you that as well. If you go to about phone and as you could see, it's the Android 14 build running the latest January 5th, 2024 patch as well. So first off, let's show you the downgrade poster using the official Android flash tool. So for that, you will have to close all the connection in the CMD window. So type in adb kill dash server to stop all the server in the CMD window. Once that is done, you should now close the CMD window as well. And now let's move ahead. So let's choose the link from here. In my case, it's the pixel 6a. So go to the link. And now from here, you will have to scroll to the build number of your choice. So we have to flash the Android 13 build. So let me verify the latest build. So I'm flashing the last Android 13 build, which was the latest one. Just keep in mind to make sure that it's carrier logged or unlocked. Depending on your phone, I want a carrier unlocked build. So it was this one in my case. And currently we are using the Android flash tool method. So you will have to click on the flash button. So click the flash button and it will take you to the Android flash tool. And first and foremost, you will get some prompt on your PC. So, so hit the allow ADB access. After that, you will get an RC key prompt on your phone. Check mark allow. And likewise, you will 
you might get an site cookie access so you may click on allow access as well and with this your phone should not be visible here as you could see from here so choose your device and it will be selected if it's not selected then unplug and replug your phone and make sure that you you have closed the cmd window connection apart from that re-verify that you are not blocked any prompt or cookie in case you are, have any ad blocker then make sure to turn off the ad blocker on this side otherwise you will not get the prompt to enable adb access once you have turned off all the third party apps and cookies are enabled then you can move ahead and your phone should be visible here so choose your phone from here and as you could see the build number is already there so we don't have to choose the build number and just make sure your phone is being shown here apart from that check mark wipe device and leave the lock bootloader unchecked because we want to have the option of unlock bootloader so only check mark wipe device do not check lock bootloader because we want to have an unlock bootloader so please do keep in mind that this is very important you will have to wipe the device but you will not have to lock the bootloader once that is done hit the install build button and it will show you all the information please re-verify the same so it's the android 13 build for my pixel 6a let me verify it as well so it's the android 13 build so once you have done the confirmation hit the confirm button and then click on i accept it will now download the firmware for your phone and it will automatically boot your phone to the fast boot mode do keep in mind that while the flashing is going on your phone will automatically boot into the fast boot mode as well as the fast boot d mode this is completely normal and nothing to worry about as of now it's downloading the firmware file which will take up to a couple of minutes depending on the size of the firmware so guys the download of the firmware is now done and it's now flashing the firmware file and as you could see it's automatically flashing all the files you don't have to do anything just wait for the flashing to complete and it will automatically reboot your phone to the fast boot mode after flashing individual files so you will have to give it some time and as you could see it's flashing some of the files the major amount of time is taken by the super partition as you could see it's now being flashed it's around 4 gb in size so let's just wait for the flashing to complete so guys as soon as the super dot img file is flashed the flashing is now complete and your phone will automatically boot to the os likewise you will get an install complete message in the android flash tool do keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some additional time frame this is completely normal and nothing to worry about from the subsequent time it will not take that much longer so let's just wait for the phone to boot up and then we could move ahead and set it up if you want you may take up data restore right now i am skipping it and will take you to the os right away to show you the os ui and ux and the fact that the downgrade is complete successfully i'll verify that as well so let's just wait for a few more seconds for a phone to boot up it's just for the one time delay so let's now get started with the steps and as of now i'll skip the initial setup process and set the phone offline let me accept the terms and condition and skip all this so our phone should now boot to the os in a matter of few seconds so with this we are inside the android 13 os and let's access the settings menu and as you could see from here it's the android 13 version build number is of september 1st which i flashed right now and we are back to the android 13 so guys this was the first method through which you could do a downgrade using the android flash tool now let me show you the second method of how to do a downgrade that involves using the fastboot script so first and foremost you will have to check mark all the same requirements so you will have to install android SDK platform tools and extract it onto your pc these are the, are the files of platform tools then enable usb debugging and oem unlocking from the set settings menu of your phone once that is done you will then have to connect your phone to the pc via usb cable and unlock the bootloader this will wipe off all the data from your phone so make sure to do, take a backup beforehand and then boot your phone to fast boot mode after that use the fast boot flashing unlock command and use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm with this the bootloader will be unlocked once that is done you may then do a downgrade using the fast boot method as well so simply choose your phone from here so again let me show you if i choose my pixel 6a so let's choose the pixel 6a from here 
and after that you will then have to choose the firmware version from here so it's the android 13 let me choose the latest build latest unlocked build which is not a part of any carrier which is this one because the other two are team mobile and verizon so as of now i'll choose this one now you will have to click on the link button instead of the flash earlier using the android flash tool we used the flash button now you have to click the link button and it will then download this firmware and the firmware will be in the zip format so let me show you this will be the firmware you will have to extract the firmware upon extracting the firmware you will get all these files so now what you have to do is simply hit the flash all button and it will flash all the files onto your phone your phone will also undergo a, a wipe data wipe which will wipe off all the data from your phone and after that it will flash all the files and your phone will then boot to the os automatically so this is also an easier way out of getting the job done so just to repeat once you have got hold of the firmware simply boot your phone to fast boot mode and then use the flash all batch file and the flashing will then start once the flashing start it will flash all the files and will then boot your phone to the os so while the flashing is going on let me show you how it, it does the flashing so if you open the file you could verify from here that first off it will flash the bootloader file img file which is this one the bootloader img file once that is done it will then reboot your phone back to the fast boot mode after that it will flash the radio.img file which is this one then it will again boot your phone to fast boot mode after that it will do a format data via fast boot space dash w once that is done it will then flash the entire image.zip file and inside this image.zip file you will get all the partition img file so it will then flash all these individual files and once all the files have been flashed your phone will automatically reboot to the os you don't have to do anything as such so guys with this the flashing will get complete and your phone will boot to the android 13 os just you have to boot your phone to fast boot mode and then launch the flash all dot bat file so guys these were the two methods through which you could downgrade any pixel phone from android 14 to android 13 just to recall in case of the android flash tool you will have to keep in mind one important aspect and that is you will have to check mark the wipe data option but leave the bootloader lock option unchecked because we have to keep the bootloader unlocked because if something goes wrong during the flashing we could then easily fix the issue on the other hand if your bootloader is currently locked and if something goes wrong then you will not be able to fix or rectify the issue apart from that if we talk about the fast boot method then you don't have to keep anything in mind everything will happen automatically just boot your phone to fast boot mode unlock the bootloader and use the flash all dot bat file and there are just a couple of more things that you have to keep in mind so whenever you are doing a downgrade irrespective of the os version from android 14 to 13 13 to 12 that does not matter in case of downgrade you will, you will have to unlock the bootloader a data wipe is always required and apart from that you should always use the factory image and not use the OTA image for downgrading always a factory image is required and not the OTA image moreover you cannot do a downgrade using ADB side load you will have to use the fast boot method of getting this job done so guys on that note I round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching